Here's a song that he recorded four times. He must have liked it a lot. Is it an earthquake? Is it a shock? Is it the good turtle soup? Or merely the fog? Is it a cocktail? This feeling of joy? But I feel the real McCoy Is it for all time Or is it simply a lark Is it Granada I see Or Asbury Park Is it a fancy Not worth thinking of Or is it a long I was a stranger in the city Out of town were the people I knew I had that feeling of self-pity What to do, what to do, what to do The outlook was decidedly blue And as I walked down the dreary streets alone It turned out to be the luckiest day I've known Had me low Had me down I view the morning With much alarm The British Museum had Lost its charm How long I wondered Could this thing last but the age of miracles had passed and suddenly I saw you standing right there and in foggy London town the sun was shining, shining, shining everywhere. Kern wrote a beautiful, beautiful love ballad to be sung slowly and lovingly. Frank Sinatra was the only guy who could really take it and swing it without even speeding up. Most times when you take a song and you swing it, the tempo increases. He didn't need it, and here it is. Someday, when I'm awfully low, and the world is cold I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight Lovely With your smile so warm Nothing for me but to love you And the way you look tonight With each word Your tenderness grows Tearing my fears apart
don't you ever change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you And the way you look tonight Just the way you look tonight. Isn't that a beauty? Thank you. In the show, Pal Joey, Frank Sinatra's wooing, if that's the proper word, <laughs> Rita Hayworth, and also um, Kim Novak at the same time, and he finally gets caught and he says, well look, Rita, with your money and your wealth and your influence, I still want you to back my club, but I got this girlfriend over here and she says, you don't understand. <laughs> you get me in the club or nothing. Oh, so he sings her this song. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight She loves the theater Never goes late She never bothers With the people she hates That is why the lady is a tramp Won't go to Harlem In satin and pearl won't play those card games with barons and earls And she won't dish the dirt with the rest of those girls That is why the lady is a tramp She loves that cool, fresh wind in her hair Life without care California, cause it's cold and it's damp. Well, that's why the lady, that's why the lady, that's why the lady is a tramp. Thank you. I'm going to shift gears for a few minutes. Another one of my boyhood musical heroes was Nat King Cole. Now, a couple of things about Nat. Nat started off being a piano pay player exclusively. He did not sing. There were two reasons. One, he was one of the foremost premier jazz piano players in the country. He was fabulous as a piano player. And two, he didn't think he had a very good voice. <laughs> so he didn't sing. So I'll bring the little bit of Nat King Cole portion to you uh, with his biggest song of the trio. And that is about a road. And it's probably a road some of you took to get from the East Coast to the West Coast. Kicks on Route 60. 
you to pay close attention to my friend Gil Orr, who has, uh, like I have, my musical heroes, he has his musical heroes. I'm going to speak. Of course, my musical hero is, is Mike over here. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, you know, a lot of us guitarists uh, kind of looked at different guitar players growing up. Of course, I'm old enough not to have been playing uh, heavy metal stuff, so... My guy was uh, a guy named Les Paul. Anybody remember him? <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a little thing called whispering, and I got uh, Mary Ford over there on the piano. Tonight. I hate it. I hate to be Mary Ford. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> sitting at my piano in my living room and I discovered I could write songs. <laughs> I, I stumbled onto a musical theme and then I happened to pick out of the air, and I don't know how this happened because I wasn't attempting to do so, a phrase that fit the musical theme. In an hour, I had an entire song done. I had the words, the music, the chords, everything. And I called my wife and I said, come here, listen to this thing. And I played it for her and she says, I said, what do you think? She says, I think it's beautiful. I said, that's great. I'm gonna dedicate this to our 50th wedding anniversary. She said, that was two years ago. <laughs> so, okay, so I've lost a step or two. <laughs> come on. I'll play the song. It's called, We'll Never Say Goodbye. And here's the melody first. I've 
known you forever. I know that you're the reason I'm alive. I waited oh so long to find you. And in my heart I know the reason why You've known me forever And now you know the reason you're alive You need me in the way I need you And in your heart you know the reason Look at me We were two You can see We are one We know now Together We know that we were always meant to be I love you and I know you love me And this is why we'll never say goodbye Thank you. Now I'm going to go way back. Night and day, you are the one Only you beneath the moon and under the sun Whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling Where you are, I think of you Night and day, night and day why is it so that this longing for you follows me wherever I go? In the roaring traffic's go, in the silence of my lonely room, I hear you night and day, day and night under the height of me. There is an oh such a hungry yearning burning inside of me And this torment won't be through Till you let me spend life making love to you day and night Night and day You have been much too marvelous, too marvelous for words and glorious and glamorous and stand by amorous. You're just too wonderful. I just can't find the words that say enough, that tell enough. I mean that they're not swell enough. You are just too very, very to ever be in Webster's Dictionary And so I'm borrowing a love song from the birds To tell you that you're marvelous Tell you that you're wonderful Tell you that you're marvelous tomorrow Good night and thank you. Let's have some dessert.
Reserves. Gil Orr. Frank Schatz. Thank you all very much. How was the show? Well, I'll let them decide. All right. That'll be a good quote.